and welcome to Remember When with Jim Doherty, a podcast where I ask my guests to remember when something happened in pop culture history. Did you get my message about this, by the way? Yeah. V- vaguely. <laughs> they can share that with me, something that impacted them over the years. Um, you can, if you like watching things and laughing, go to the Grand Opera House website and buy tickets to my show, Bridesmaids of Northern Ireland, and also the Christmas adult comedy that me and my husband, Sean Haggerty, have written called Home Alone um, at gohitch.co.uk. My guest this week is a podcaster, a comedian, a writer, and a doctor. Not a proper one, but it's Kieran Bartley. Yay. Not a proper one. Correct. I mean, do you often feel really shit about yourself about being a, not a proper doctor? I wouldn't say really shit. I would say I definitely I, I feel incompetent when people people go, oh, doctor. Yeah. And I go of journalism, and you just see them going waster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like a waster. You're you're a doctor being a nosy bastard. Yeah. yeah. Basically. I'm gonna be doctor doctor in about four years though, because I'm doing Norway one right now. Doctor doctor. Yeah. Are we? <laughs> A wee vanity PhD. I don't know why I was knocking business. at your door. I don't know. I was like, doctor, weird. doctor. Yeah. I was like, doctor it's either... see me now. Yeah. <laughs> it was a mix between a knock-knock joke and <laughs> a, a doctor, seductive doctor, 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 doctor. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Doctor, doctor jokes. Good times. Doc- curtains. I feel like a pair of curtains. Pull yourself together. Oh. oh. So hold does that. Does that just Hang go, yourself? doctor, doctor? What's oh. the I what's feel the like a pair of curtains. Line? Hang yourself. <laughs> oh, I was just going, hang yourself. <laughs> you know like, yeah, that's like, the dark doctor doctor one doctor, minute into the doctor. podcast you're like yeah. go fucking hang yourself <laughs> that's not very nice no sorry I might have to cut that sorry. so hold on you're doing a second PhD of, yeah we vanity project which which is about Flavian Rome hmm Rome in a, in a specific time rum in the drink Rome Rome of the place yeah <laughs> the empire so what was the first word you said Flavian Flavian yeah so what's that mean? Uh, uh, it's a dynasty of emperors, three emperors. So Flavian, and in my head, I thought you said like flame and rum, like a like a like a like a cool drink, like a cool drink. I'm, I can't even, I can't even do a cool drink as a PhD. That would I'll be what to. I'd read. It's old coins and old buildings and shit. Is that something you're into? Mm. Well, obviously, if you're doing a PhD. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested in it. Yeah. And what do you want to accomplish? <laughs> I just, <laughs> do you know what? That? I just, I, I want, I want to write it and then. I want some rare university press to publish it, and then it'll just sit in like libraries, no one reading it. Do you know what though? You're 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 like my brother. You just love to learn, isn't that right? I do enjoy. You're an that. academic. I, I like sitting there reading wee old books and all. Do you? Yeah, I like a smell of a library. It's gonna say, do you like sniffing a wee old book? <laughs> do you? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as saying I'm huffing it, but I definitely like going in their room with old books in it, and going, I smell no book. Yeah. You know. Do you know what smells like? Secrets. Yeah. Do you know what it smells like? Dirty. Knowledge. Yeah. Dirty owl secrets. <laughs> People get murdered in libraries. Have you ever played that game, Cluedo? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who's your favorite Cluedo guy? Never played it, Kieran. Have you not? <laughs> no. I have played it. I like Colonel Mustard. I like, I like the cut of his jib. I feel like Cluedo is a game that will go on too long for my liking. It's, it's all right. It's quick enough. I like to play those sorts of games if I'm like maybe having a drink. Mm. Like it's not a game, so I, I, you'd need my full concentration span and three glasses of wine, and I'd be like, mm. "It was me, I murdered the cunt." <laughs> Mon- Mon- Monopoly is a game that goes on too long. Yeah, like forever. I don't think there is an end. It's the the board game equivalent to that song. I know a song that will get in your nerves, uh, yeah, get in your is, nerves, yeah. get in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean the only time Monopoly ends is literally one person has all the money, mm. and even then they can keep rolling, and I'm like, you melt. It's like that's like a real parallel. Like that's like the li- the world that we live it in. It is. It's but yeah. It's it's like this Tory government. There we go. Love it. Never ends. Yeah. One person has all the money. I saw a thing this morning on the news where like Boris Johnson's apparently now making like he can people can buy their houses. You live in if you live in social housing, you can now buy a house. And I was like, that's because that fucker last week by the skin of his hip. Got that vote of no confidence. By the by the hair of his taint. By the hair yeah. of his tainty wee taint. <laughs> <laughs> and he has went, fuck, I may do something. He's a rat. He's a wee I, shite, I can't isn't stand he? Him. He's a fucking rat. Yeah. How does he keep getting the right? Like, all. Presu- presumably, though, the people he's writing aren't, aren't good people either. He doesn't strike me as someone who's like writing sound people. Well, either way. He's getting his wee taint away, isn't he? Yes, he, he mate. That's a wee, his wee, his wee tasty strip. Like he's handing it out. He's handing it out. 
Couple how? Of them. Like I just does he have any younger siblings? I don't know. Because if I had him, I'd stop having kids. Yeah, I, I, I. You wouldn't uh, continue to breed. I watched a whole, I watched a whole program or like a whole program, a whole video. It was about four or five. I love where people long. go like, I read a book, I saw a clip, I read, yeah. I saw a meme. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's exactly what this was. It was, it was a wee, it was a very meme heavy clip, of um, of like all the many things he's done mm. to like fuck people over and all the times he's fully lied in public about like, you know, something like what was it, seventeen times he says you know he wasn't gonna. Run, a, run for being an MP at the same time as being mayor. He did it. All yeah. this type of stuff, you know. He's an asshole, like, to say the very least. But then I love when there's a wee scandal on the news and stuff. Like, I, I fucking live for it. Like, I love when there's, like, a wee bit, like, there's a shit storm going on somewhere. Like, even though it might be, like, destructive and there's loads of people dying and all, I'd be, like, glued to the news. What's you your know? favourite recent scandal? RHI? Uh, not a... Mm, no. Cash for Ash. I like when they give it a. I like cash when they give it a. Cash for Ash. I like when it has a name like that. Are we you co- know? Do you make it we more trendable? Out. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. Cash for Ash. Yeah. Like like old school like Cash for Questions was one not as good. Who's do, who was Cash for Questions? Who was Cash for Questions? Was that was that under Labour? Was it Cash for Questions? And it was like, you, you could pay for questions to be brought up in part in Parliament. Ah uh, right okay. Was that under Labour? Uh, I have no idea. I think so. Would think so. But like even, do you know like as horrific as it is, but you reckon when a big thing happens like a like nine eleven or like one of those big things that you just like glued to the TV? Oh yeah, well fuck yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like big things like that. Like yeah. do you know at the start of the pandemic? I I yeah, at the start, like when they were doing oh, all them big announcements. I watched you were glued? Like, I watched the first like week or so of those and then I just went, I can't stand this cunt. And mm. and I just do you know what I did? I bought a frisbee. How'd that go down for you? Fucking class. You just it, see when they announced it. Well, Chloe or our oh, right. like the two of us, because we would just go out into the garden and fuck a frisbee around. We used to play a game. I don't know if I can tell you what it's called. It's a very rude name, but it's basically donkey, right. but, with a, but with a dirty word. What's donkey? You know, like where we throw something like a ball or a frisbee, mm. and if you drop it, you get You're the first dunk- letter, you get D, and then, so you basically have six lives, you know, D, O. So what do you get? D-O-M. Oh, right, okay. So, so that's like, just very... Whoever drops it six times is a donkey, except our game was called something very rude. Right. Wanker. Ruder. Right. Like you, it, it, it's a, yeah, filthy. But at the start I don't, of... I don't know, I don't know where we're at we're, on this podcast. We're, I think, I or think podcast. I did a Hitler impersonation a few episodes ago, so I think it's okay. It was called Contol, and we used to play it out, though, like, definitely neighbours heard us. So you'd us. get, you'd get eight goes. you get eight goes. Yeah. It was usually Kev as well, <laughs> which he is one. But what I was saying is the start of the pandemic, whenever the all the content where you're fucking glued to the TV and glued to the news all the time, right? There was this there was always this graphic at the, on the news where it would show like the like a sky like a cartoon version of like the fucking world, like a map or the country. And like it would you know, there'd be like these circles with numbers in them and it would like scoot to like Derry and then it'll go to, like Belfast yeah, and London that. and all. And I remember being like, Holy fuck, Deshaun, I saw it's well like we're literally looking at death hole, like numbers of like people who have died and all. Like it's going to like Belfast and it's like twenty six and it goes like London, it's like 28, and I thought it's wild. Sean was like, That's the temperature. <laughs> it was the weather. Sure, there's Barabas beside it. Tina it. Yeah. I was convinced. I was like, This is so morbid. This is the death yeah. toll. He was just letting us know to stick one about a fucking factor 30. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's lethal. Like, Imagine the weather watching camera had just been watching people down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> just clocking complete, it up. Complete, complete fucking misallocation of resources. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just delivering the bar of best each day, just delivering the death toll for us. <laughs> it's going to be very windy today, but also <laughs> wee Barbara's dead down in Dunmurray. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't, oh I've, my made God. Him, I've made him way more camp than he actually is. Um, we were talking about our food whenever you came in because I just had my lunch. And mm. so I need to, because your boosties are infamous. Roasty so tell game. me about your boosties because I've got a secret ingredient that my mother-in-law has given to me that I'm going to pass on to you. So what I do with a roastie is I use Mars Piper, so that's important. Um, uh-huh. A good all-rounder spud. Um, I, I Not a fan of the Kerr's Pinks? They're all right, although that that would be another one that you can use because it's also sort of flory. Yeah. You want to stay away from waxy potatoes when you're making. You want flory potatoes. How's, right? How do you how do you determine that a potato's waxy? There's certain is is King Edward is it waxy? I think it is. It's waxy and it's flowery. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Fl- flory okay. are the ones you want, right? So we're going for flory. So, uh, occurs pink a cumber. 
uh, a Mars Piper for me anyway. So we get Mars Pipers. I peel them all over. Some people just, I don't think the skin roasts well. Anyway, peel them all over. I peel them all over. I, I like cutting them good size yeah. and then I power boil them like they're pretty much boiled. And then I let them steam dry and then I give them a wee shake in there so they get a bit, there's wee bits. What do wee, they do? <laughs> you get wee bits, right? And then you pour all that into your roasting tray. I use olive oil, a wee bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. So far, we're on the same. Right? Yeah. In the go, right? And then when they're when they're fucking getting there, I'll, I'll, I'll have loads of, uh, I'll bust up like a bulb or a bulb and a half of garlic. And then uh, I'll lightly press those cloves, put that in the wee bowl. I'll find chop a load of rosemary, put that in the wee bowl, bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And then I'll just pour that in over the potatoes when mm. they're nearly done. Give it a good old fucking right, and then back in until they're literally like just amazing. You should be able to hit them, and it goes crispy. Do you know what you need? And I'm at, I'll take this. I'll take whatever this no, is. No, I would swear my roaster game is exactly the same. Bar the rosemary. Right. Same thing. Power boil them. Take them out. Shake, 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 Senora. Stick them back in. Although I don't let mine steam dry. It only takes a minute or two. What's the best for doing that? They go drier. The, it means they cook a wee bit quicker. Secret ingredient? Semolina. Talk to me. Talk that's to massive. me after. Farid, that's, a, that's an Italian style, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You're going to do the wee... But I sent that there, yeah? yeah. You're doing a wee S- Kieran Sprinkle? A wee season by. And yep. on your... Of semolina. And then do your wee shake, 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 senora. Fuck it in the oven. And it crispies them like fuck. It's making me wonder about these fries that we had over in fucking... If they felt dusty. Toronto, there was a dust. Semolina. It could well have been something like that, yeah. Because it's sweet. Yeah. Dusting, but it makes them go crispy. It's semolina. That's very interesting. And a box of that shit will do you years. Isn't semolina what they use for... um, Prison desserts? Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I think think in school they would have broke that out every now and again. It's like a custard, I think, if you make it up with milk or something. I never really went to dinners in school, but I know that this was a thing. Yeah. With like a blob of like sad jam in the middle. Yeah. And it's not even a real, they wouldn't even give you a real blob of jam. They'd give you like a wee, like a wee, a wee hackle of jam. A wee spoonful. Yeah. I never did school dinners either. I used to watch other people eat their school dinners and I'd eat my sandwiches. And then I used to, I went through a phase in secondary school of bringing in a Tupperware box that had blended a smoothie into and froze in my freezer. So you're sort of having like froyo? I'm having like froyo on the hotter months and I'd be sitting in school with a big Tupperware full of froyo. I made a few faux pas in school with uh, with with lunch. I remember going through a wee phase of liking soup and so I'd bring soup in with me and a bit of bap. You'd get, you'd get slagged now if you, you brought an anything over the packet of crisps. I feel, I feel like I feel like I probably was getting slagged. And then one day when I went to pour my soup out in the wee cup, uh, the inside of the flask had bust. And so it was all like all shards of fucking Classic. silver and weird shit that keeps your shit warm. That was rare. I also remember um, I remember one time in primary school, so we did PE in the hall, where which was the dinner hall as mm. well. And I remember going in to do PE one day after lunch and the, the cleaners hadn't been in yet. And I was just, I always just remember there was like, just like a big sad potato, like right in the middle of like where we're playing hurling with like, we're playing hurling indoors with like, fluffy or waxy? with like, you know, like, what? fluffy or waxy? <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, uh, like hurls that have like wee plastic ends on them mm. so you can play with them inside. Right. No, they weren't at my school, but I. I remember that. And uh, it was so weird. No. Just like a spud just lying on the floor. <laughs> so did nobody address it? <coughs> I basically sat there and like everyone's just like uh, it's no still one, there. no one wants to touch it. Do you know what I mean? So like everybody's just sort of like playing hurling and always looking down, making sure like they're not running into the path of this fucking. In my primary school, rooster, you know. If you brought in a crunch corner, your days were numbered. Yeah. They were called yucky yogurts. Oh really? And if you're even though they're fucking delish, but if you had a crunch, uh, even twofold, right? If you brought in a crunch corner. And your crisps were blue and white striped Tesco's own. You may kiss goodbye to your social life. Oh, really? Oh, my God. I'm like, Yogi Yogurt, own brand, own brand. Like, you... Fuck, that didn't really happen where I'm from. Uh, well, Myself. I remember I was a wee prince, and I remember getting my mum bought me a packet of crisps one time. I don't know if you remember these. You, you might not be old enough to remember these. Tudor specials. Do you remember these? Crisps? No. Do you remember these? There was, like, three flavours. 
the fat man remembers. There was cream cheese and chive. They were very dirty. There was roast beef and pickle. Ooh. And there was gammon and pineapple. I was wee. I was off family gammon and pineapples, mate. It was sort of like smoky bacon. Age? Seven. Ain't that wee gammon and pineapple flavor? A wee, a, wee ga- a wee gammon and pineapple. It was basically oh, like, it was like smoky bacon with just a hint of the exotic, right? And so I... I remember one day, I and I, I joined this school. I joined the my my last primary school. I joined it when I was in P three, and um. Hold, hold on, your I, last primary. school? I did three. I was in three primary schools. Just so. just try find the one with the vent machine that had the pineapple and <laughs> yeah. gammon. Wouldn't wouldn't accept it. Uh, yeah, I was I was looking for one that had a good improv program, but um, <laughs> there was uh, there was. I remember this week, or in my class, I had only been in the in the school for about a week or two weeks, and it was a bit lonely, like you know what I mean. And I was sitting there, all I had was these gammons, right? And I remember this week, or just walking past me and taking a handful off them and just looking at me and walking on. I remember being like, "Bitch, I'm a, I'm a fucking wreck as joint." And <laughs> I didn't do anything. I did nothing except I still harbor it. Yeah. And I actually think it's given me a complex about sharing crystal with people. Do you know who she is now? I know her name, I don't know what she's doing with her f- life. Like, as a form of therapy and self-help, you need to find that bitch on Instagram and, and, like, ne- and tell her the impact that she's had you know on your life. She, can ne- she can't, she'll not be able, they don't make these crisps anymore, so she'll not she'll, really be able. She can't be able to fix it. She can't, yeah, because even if she hit me up, do you know what are awesome crisps? The, you know, those chicken ones that, uh, the walkers mark strong, have you had these? Yeah. I, I don't know how they've done it. It tastes like chicken. Roasted on the bone. Anyway, I don't know how they've done it, but I'm not a fan of a dinner flavored crisp. I am. I like them. Mm. Do you prefer like a, a salt and vinegar? A, like every girl. A cheese and onion. It's girls. Oh, don't do a cheese and onion. No. Not a fucking. Bad girl. breath. Just. I'm not a bland bastard. Why? What do you go for? It's prawn cocktail. I don't like a dinner flavored crisp. I prefer a starter. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> prawn cocktail. Oh I. Yeah. I eat that for a See, snack. I, I, Prawn cocktail is, I, I think that is a, I think that is like a flavour that girls like more than guys. And salt and vinegar, girls always, got the guy, I think guys are like, I'm going for the meat flavoured crisp and you're like, you can, you can, you don't have to eat your prawn cocktail not, in yeah, secret. You're, yeah, you're not a barbarian because you're having fucking Yeah, bacon well crisp. no, you're not a fucking, you're you're not a trans, trans woman now just because you're eating prawn cocktail crisps. Allow yourself to this, eat a salt and vinegar in public. In my house and I mean like in, in my family home and also in my house with Chloe, if we had a multi-pack of crisps, a prawn cocktail are sitting there like... <gasps> they go first they're, they're, to my they're house. They're the ones... Chloe, Chloe will tackle them, but they'll be last, I mm-hmm. think, you know. See, in my primary school, um, we didn't have to wear uniforms on the, on the lower half until we were in P4. We did have to wear other clothes. I was going to say, yeah, just like... <laughs> Our school only school had... School sweatshirt, naked, <laughs> just, from the waist down. Everyone's got their wee arses out. Like, yeah. Um, we were so we had a polo shirt and a jumper, right. but our school just didn't decide what it wanted on the bottom half until, and in saying that, there my dad also went to the same primary school. So this primary school was open for like twenty, thirty yeah. years before I joined. They just still hadn't decided yeah. what they wanted on our verses yet, and so by like P four, so I remember in P four I was wearing a pair of black jeans that were my brother's that he'd now grown out of. Right. And I was like, I'd seen something on, I think, Clarissa or something where she had a pair of lucky jeans and I didn't have any jeans until I got these jeans. So I was like, these are now my lucky jeans, sure. Why right. wouldn't they yeah. be? So I wore them on this school one day. Do you know when you're like, one day when you've got such high expectations because something's different that yeah, day? Yeah. So for me today, I've got my lucky jeans on. Shit's go- I'm going to like do so well. To- like I'm going to have a great day. And I remember sitting beside this girl in my class, Evelyn, on our t- at our table. And our teacher, Miss Devlin, was standing here, but turned towards the other table behind us. So her arse was right in between our two faces. And I remember saying to her, Jesus, she's got a big ar- arse, doesn't she? Right? Or her, her big arse is in our face or something like that there. And she went and told the teacher that I had said she had a big fat ass. Oh, mate, totes will be shot, Lord. And I was like, I didn't even say she had a fat ass. And also, no, that's a compliment. So yeah, yeah. You just, I was giving her a compliment 20 years to early. You're like, Mrs. Got back. But I, <laughs> yeah, mm. but I got stood out. Do you remember getting stood out? Oh, mate, don't even. I got stood out one day. I got stood out one day, complete case of mistaken identity. I got it stood was out. Mickey. I got stood out. I'm throwing this out there. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I'm who, who, were you about to criminalise somebody? No, I won't tout. I'm just, I'm, mate. I, <laughs> I, I was a good, I was so well behaved. So was I. 
I got stood Perfect out. Perfect my time competition. I think Palace. the whole time I was in school, I think I got stood out twice. One time, mistaken identity. Another time, somebody kicked me in the fucking face and I got stood out. <laughs> I got stood out. <clears throat> How long? Did you get stood out Once while time? blood was pissing from your face? No, I, I actually got a black eye. He, I swear to God, he kicked me in the face. And what happened to him? He got fucking done for it, but he didn't get done <laughs> for a couple of days. We dick. <laughs> Wings are fucking balls. I didn't even know him. He was in the air blow me. This was in that fucking school. See when I was in P3, mate? Oh my God. The life. <laughs> was it in P3? The life I had. Oh, he was a wee twat. Him. Hold on. Why did he kick you in the face? He was, he th- again, I assume mistaken identity because he was fucking around with somebody else. And this didn't happen. So in the school I was in before this, like, if you were playing chases, your game didn't need to involve anyone else apart from the people you were playing chases with. Yeah. In the school I went to, people would like, Get you know, involved. grab you and try to like, you're not even playing their fucking game. Yeah. They're trying to like, look around you and hide, use you to hide. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? You wee dick. Yeah. And it was something like that was going on. And the next thing, I just, I just like turn around, boot it in the face. I still don't even know the fucking circumstances. <laughs> we twat. <laughs> Feels, Probably failed as 11 plus. What? Do you know what it feels like? This is the story you'd have told the teacher, but actually that's not true. And you write booting other people in the face. Oh, and I'm, you got nah, a boot back. I was such a good wee boy. Like nobody, I wouldn't have booted anybody. But I definitely, I got in trouble. I got stood out one day. Uh, a wee girl that was in my class, her wee sister, said I pushed her. I was like, I was fucking... I was literally on the other end of the playground from this week on. I, I was like, fucking stretch arms he pushed me. He pushed me. I went, where was you? Over there. I went, I've been over there. Out. I'm like, you're a fucking whore. And I had to go and stand at the bold See? wall. Oh. The bold wall? Yeah, the big wall where all the bold ones had to stand during break <laughs> lunch. Fucking rare. We didn't have a bold wall because there, there wasn't enough bold ones to fill the wall in our school. Oh, mate, no. Our, our te- my teacher came over and after. Your teacher, so... Your teacher would walk back around and see who's at the bold wall. Aye. From like that. And break then time. they would know when you went into class afterwards. Or with so, the bold so she wall comes over and was like, "What? What was that about?" And I said to her, "You know, her wee sister said I pushed her, but it didn't." And she was like, "And I'm like, bitch, you'll not dismiss that. No. You'll not dismiss these accusations. I did fuck all." Her and her fat ass. Yeah. Do you know? Sorry, I didn't see the wee girl that was in my class. Whose wee sister it was? Looked rare at our communion. There you go. Actually, <laughs> she had she had what looked like chainmail on. She, her dress was like it's meant to be like a wee wedding dress. I know this was like a wedding dress, and then like armor. Uh, yeah, like like literally. Do you know who she looked like? You know the guy who does prima nocta and fucking yeah. braveheart. You know prima, prima nocta. nocta. Yeah. You know? An assault on the king's soldiers is an assault on the king himself. <laughs> Slits the throat. <laughs> That cunt. That's who she looked like on well, her. But do you know why day. she's wearing fucking chainmail? Because when you wee boys are pushing her sister. Well, God's trying to write her. Isn't he marrying her that day? That's what that's meant to mean. So he's like, is God is trying to ride her? Is is God fuck right my wee girl today? I will put a wee bit of metal over that wee wedding dress. That's Jesus. what her dad. Her dad's a genius. Oh, yeah, a wee fucking ten foil chastity vest. Yeah. Um, when I was weird. in primary school, I became like the secretary in P seven. Not of the school, but of my class. Right. Because after my confirmation, which, by the way, if you're talking about that girl, was rare in your first communion, I got the Jennifer Aniston Rachel haircut when I was 11 for my confirmation. It is fucking rare looking on an 11-year-old. <laughs> so all these, like, bouncy yeah. layers yeah. and yeah. all. And then I wore a lime green long sleeve top that had a picture of... Do you remember Groovy Chick? No. She was... The girls would have been a wonder. And then I wore double denim. I had a denim fringed waistcoat. Don't talk to me about double denim. And an ankle length <laughs> denim skirt. I looked like I was selling the big issue. <laughs> My double denim experience. First band I was in. The Vibes. Good times, right? Uh, I I remember we did, we did a gig one night. And I was wearing... There's a picture of me circulating somewhere. Of me, I have spiky hair. I'm wearing a denim jacket, uh, with double denims, denim jacket, dusty denim jeans, Burton's up the rah, and <laughs> desert <laughs> boots, and then this shirt. And I, I swear to fuck, I, somebody should have, somebody should have taken me to the side and said, "Is everything all right at home, mate?" This shirt, <laughs> it was a black shirt with gold pinstripes on it, white cuffs, white collar. And do you know what I used to do? Play the first song. 
And then whip the jacket off. Oh, mate. <laughs> You were doing like a, boy, was, like a West Side key change, but I with thought, your jacket? Yeah, I thought it was a fucking ride, and actually, it's woeful looking, and mm. some, someone definitely should have said, here, stop back in the cold. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was... I, um, I wore my double denim, right? And I wore a pair of Alisi trainers with them, Navy, we Navy Alisi trainers, but I'm green top, and I'm stood like a, f- I, I would say, I look 46. Like, I'm 11, and I look like a, f- I look like I've just yeah. come back from the office like yeah. I look like a dickhead on, on my on my communion day when I was seven I was dressed like Fraser Crane so there's yeah. no yeah I had like did you have a wee cardigan on? a shirt I had a I had a, a knitwear tank top on yes and uh, a white shirt and uh, a tie but um oh mate I just remember see see the first year in that school dog shit like is this the shit. P3 in primary school? Mm. I feel like you absolutely need to talk to somebody smashed professionally about P3. Smashed it. I'm talking, I'm doing it now. Well, smashed I'm not it. qualified. <laughs> smashed it though, because I remember I got a good part in a Christmas play. I'd only been there two months, whatever. And what part uh, did you get? Child three, but that was a good That's... speaking part in that play. It sounds it sounds spurious, doesn't it? When you say, yeah. you, Do you know, know why? The, the writer actor. there is an absolute ball bag. By Be not nice giving to your actors. Ch- give them a name. Give them a name. Don't call them child three. Yeah. Call them you know, Brian. Yeah, yeah. We Brian. We Karen. We Karen. Here. Done? Done? So I got. So what did, um, do you remember what you had to do as child? I three? remember. Uh, the I remember a great line that was. But what about the shepherds anyway? <laughs> Delivery, right? And um. What about yeah. the shepherds? Uh, a bi- basically the story was three children from now go back in time and witness the nativity. One of our teachers wrote it. So anyway. three children from then, though, not from now, because then it'll be like oh, a, in uh, yeah. the future. Oh, the yeah, past. yeah, sorry. Fucking three Three children three from realms. 1993. Right. Uh, go, go back in time and witness the nativity. Um, I I did, Um, I also, my, my drawing of what the communion was going to be yeah. was used for the program. What? I think we know who wins, uh, you know. I've my... only been in the school a few months. I'm killing it. My drawing one year made it to the credit union pamphlet. Whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever was great. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I think our school got some book tokens because of it. Oh. Uh, Did I get to choose the books? Uh, do, you remember, do you remember any time? I also, no word of a lie, was the school librarian in P7 because my best friend. <laughs> I, sorry, I love this. And you're just like flat out taking admin roles in the school. <laughs> No, I was this yeah. I in P seven I w- me and another girl with a school librarian. She was my best friend. Her ma was the school secretary. So she her dick got sucked like Nepotism. Absolutely. Yeah. But I sort of benefited it slightly from it at times. So I got to be the librarian alongside her, right? But me and her were in constant competition because doing our doing our past papers for our eleven plus oh, fuck we're that. both two wee swats, right? So I was getting like seventy three out of seventy five and she was always getting seventy four to seventy five and I used to go home crying to my dad going, I need to beat this bitch. But he was like, You're getting seventy three out of seventy five, child. Yeah. But just like if you just knew pie, I'll be a bit better, you'd be fine. Yeah. Um but she every year got the lead in the nativity. She played Mary. Right. And I was always her fucking understudy. And oh, so Melton. whilst also being like not yeah. not even child number three, just like Stage hand. Angel number nine. <laughs> Not yeah. even on the stage. And I, one year, remember shipping her in the canteen, joking, because it was like the the like sixth year in a row I was her understudy. And I remember being like, um, she was eating her lunch, crunch corner, dick. <laughs> and I was like, uh, if you <laughs> if you don't watch yourself, I'll poison you and you'll not be able to, you'll be too sick to come on yeah. and play Mary and you might die and I'll get the player. Jesus. She went and told her ma that I was trying to kill her. Before you did threaten her life. Um, I, my ma got called onto the school. The illness threatening to kill Lauren. Oh They're out her, Lauren Harkin. Yeah, were you, were you not mates with her anymore then? I do, I, I am mates with her. No, not now, you know. But like, not but then? Oh, we continued to be mates I, because we knew we, we were stronger together than apart. Did you ever go to, <laughs> did, you, did this ever happen when you went to secondary school? Did you go to secondary school when I... Any people that were in your primary school yeah. who then basically pretended like they didn't know you. That happened no. with my best friend from primary school. Okay. I didn't speak to this guy pretty much until like sixth year. I was like, man, why are you doing this to me? Why did I do it to you? I have no idea. He, do you know what happened there? He, You knew too much and he wanted to create a new identity and you were going to sign his He had the same ship. identity. He was a very nice, quiet guy. Maybe I just melted him and weren't really friends to start with. But um. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, but that's but like that's what we said about being a receptionist in school. So in P seven also <laughs> receptionist. <laughs> so sorry, it's been secretary, librarian, receptionist. So receptionist for other people in the class. So for my confirmation, I I got thirty pound that I spent in Dixon's and I bought a Phillips phone. Do you remember the Great Phillips times, phones yeah. that had a wee aerial, right? And I and it only had tiny wee screen on yeah. it that you could just see the phone number. And then there there wasn't even a text option. It was yeah, just yeah. for phone calls. So I had a tenor top up on it that came with it, yeah. right? Loved it. And then I was like, I brought it into school, snuck it into school. Now, P7, I am, this is like 1999 or something. And I was at Div 1 in my class, Fusions, Fusions Forget an item. If you haven't got your PE kit with you, if you need to remind someone to pick you Good. up, got your lunch, Good. I'll ring your ma. I'll ring your ma. And I was flat out going, sir, can I go to the toilet? And people would write their ma's numbers down on me, pieces of paper, yeah. pass them across the classroom to me. And I'd go to the toilets and ring their ma's. And I swear to fuck, I'd be like, hiya, it's Diona here. I'm Gavin's classmate. Just ringing to let you know that actually he's forgotten his PE kit today. Would you mind popping that into the uh, secretary's That's office at your area's convenience? And I'm 10. <laughs> <laughs> and I live for it. Until my dad was like, for it or? where the fuck's all your credit gone? All right. No. Oh, see, there it is. Say if you were in Belfast, you'd have been charging like a pound of throw fat, like you know yeah. what I mean. You'd have been cleaning up. I was, I was like efficient, but I wasn't business minded yet. Yeah. I wasn't See, making was money like, off it. There was guys. There was a couple of guys in my class. One guy was like the first person that had like a like a CD burner. Mm. So mate, he yeah. was rich. Like he was fucking rich because mm-hmm. he was like. He was downloading shit. He he. I still have. I literally still have albums that this guy got me when I was right. in like third and fourth year. Um, uh, and he was doing that. He was doing that from we were literally in second or third year because like I have offspring albums and all of them. But um, like uh, and then you another. Were so savvy. Like another, I would not for. And he was char- he would charge you like three three quid four quid for it. That's better than going to fucking our price and paying twelve ninety nine. But like. imagine being like fourteen and your ma being like, "Here, where'd you buy that new ghetto blaster? Where are we getting all that money from?" And he's like, "What does he, he say?" He loved it. I, I think. I think. I. I don't think anybody really cared or knew that it was illegal at that time. Mm. This is pre like uh, what do you call pre Napster, pre Limewire, and all that. Like this is like this where is just this guy in my class, yeah. and then another mate of mine stole a roll like a a big wheel. Have I talked about this before? The big wheel of dinner tickets. Oh shit! This, guy, this guy's a fucking this, this guy's a fucking solicitor now. Yeah. Uh, he he, he stole. Um, Corrupt. We 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 were in the office at break time. He was getting he was getting dinner tickets, and some some shit happened. Some commotion outside. Somebody's having an asthma attack. Whatever. Some kid with nut allergies just fucking eating a Snickers. Or something <laughs> right. <laughs> something mental. And the woman like ran out. The woman dealing with dinners like ran out, and he like just went into the blazer, went mom, and I went. What's just happened? Like what has, what has just happened? How do you orchestrate I'm si- I'm sitting there with my fucking my soup and my souffle going, <laughs> oh mate! I nearly named them there. I'm sitting there going, oh no, right? So we fucking run out of the office, and he just had them. And do you know what he did? Because he he was in, <laughs> he was getting free dinner tickets, but he still had to go collect them. So he was just going to collect them. Mm. And then what he did was he got he got this wheel of dinner tickets, and then he used to sell them to people who bought a dinner ticket every day. Yeah, of course. For like half price, ten twenty p less. Just not even half price. Yeah. He said it was like a enough a pound, for them to have pound a pound twenty or something. He's selling for like a pound, and he's just so he's just making he. It's all profit to him, but they're getting a wee bit. They're getting like so they're happy. They're getting like a wee a wee bag of fives and on the way the home. Better tickets are coming to them. They don't have to go line up in the fucking Absolutely. foyer. Absolutely, no fucking stand in the office dealing with big Catherine like. No, 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 no. I know. Quiet. Judging you. That. Yeah, the judge. Got your tie, have you, Kieran? Oh, that mate. sort of shit. She was dead on, though. And uh, she was actually, do you know what? She's one of those people that when you were at school, as secretary, one of those people when you were at school, you were like, oh, she hates me. She's like really mean. Mm. And then see, like, me, I've met her a few times as an adult. So sad. She's the shop in the Tesco where I work. But is, did I've you recognize her? I've just given you all of her life information. Do you know, I don't know. But do you know what it's mad whenever you see a teacher outside of school and you're like, I know that face, but I don't really know where from. And I, have it's a great, like, I have a great story. Can I tell you this? Of course you can. I haven't told this on a podcast yet, but I have told it in real life. But this, right? I went over to my school to mm. get uh, the, the, the guy who taught the me RE. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like 35 million you know, dinner tickets. We, we, we finally sold that road. Yeah, we sold it. And um, no, I... Uh, I went over to speak to one of my old teachers um, because he's a priest and I wanted him to do our wedding, right? So I went over uh, to speak with him and on the way in, bumped into one of my old teachers who was like quite mean to me, Mm -hmm. right? 
quite mean in terms of like he was a football coach in third year told me I was the best goalie we had but like that I was a wee fat boy and he'll lose weight and all and I'm like inspirational anyway <laughs> uh, wanker so I went but he was actually really dead on to me yeah. when I got there he's like oh my god I see you're doing comedy now and oh it's really you know it's really great and all and blah 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 so I said a bit of banter with him my old PE teacher walks past and I'm it's all banter he's like oh can you great to see you. I haven't seen you in years and all I went thanks very much and I, I you know Doing my my best pasture shelf pattern. I guess I, I see you haven't gotten around to erecting that statue of me outside PE. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then Did you tell him you're a doctor? And then no. And um and uh they already know. Uh yeah, <laughs> it's a in the school building. I sent a copy of the thesis to the school. <laughs> and uh, I um I uh one of the music teachers walked by, right? Hated hated me, hated my energy, hated that I was doing like I was into like metal and emo and all that, mm-hmm. and she was like into classical. Hated me, right at school, but like bygones and whatever. Like this, this, this guy was a knob to me in school, right. but like as an adult, I literally said to him because I don't want to name this guy because he was actually dead on to me. But like he basically, long story short, sorry, long story even longer. He had this. He used to give this thing out at the start of the year, which was like the rules of his class, mm-hmm. and there was a wee monster on it. And the wee monster was like a pun of his name, uh, right? Right. I can't tell you because I have a name it. But anyway, um, and and it was like you don't want to meet me. I'm, oh, I'm, you know, it was basically. I'm, like, the, I'm the. It was basically like going, I'm angry Barry, right? Except yeah, yeah, it's funny or not because it actually rhymed with his real name. But anyway, he it, angry it, Pangry. Yeah, right. Yeah, Mr. Pangry. Right. I'm a, I'm a. Yeah, whatever. I can't even think of a good one. Right. So anyway, he um. He had this wee thing and and I scary said Scary Terry. Let's go what? Was it Scary Terry? No, no. Oh right, but it's Scary Terry is a good one. Well I'll just tell you it because I mean yeah. no, no one gives a fuck, do they? No. It was a wee monster and it was called the Wrath of McGrath, right? <laughs> and, yes. and he and he used to be and it used to be like on a page going and it said yeah. like I'm I am the Wrath of McGrath, you don't want to meet me, hand your homeworks and all this. And I said this to him, I went, you know, I said, you know, <laughs> I have two memories of you. One is basically saying to me I'll stick you in the team when you lose your tits. And the other one is <laughs> the other one is uh the Wrath of McGrath. And when I said the Wrath of McGrath, he burst out laughing, right? And I went, Oh Jesus, I remember I used to actually hand that out to kids, right? And I went, Yeah, I says, You're not doing that now. And he goes, Oh Jesus, you wouldn't get away with that shit now. Hi. And I went, Why? It's funny. Like and mm. he's like, nah, like people don't like that shit now. So I had a good old natter with him and then cut all this. And then I um the, this music teacher walks over. And he go, he goes to her, oh miss, it's Kieran Bartlett. And I swear to God, here she is. Yes. <gasps> I'm walked on. I'm like, bitch. She like, still hates you. Oh, she she hates it now. I'm like, why? Why? Nothing passed between us except like, I like rock music. That is no something has happened there that you don't know about. There's been a miscommunication. You need to sit her down and go, why do you why hate do you me? Why do you think I need to go back into my past Kieran, and fix things? Because you're clearly fucking troubled, man. Quantum leap. I haven't done anything. I think your next PhD do, should be do, on prim- primary three. Do you know the only thing that I think might have happened? And Because uh, I was accused of this, but I did not do this. Right. Whenever I was in like sixth year, there was a music concert coming up. Mm. And somebody involved with that music concert, or we think somebody that was involved with it, phoned a load of pizzas to the school in the bursar's <laughs> name and the bursar was bigger than me now. Right. So he was called, like everyone used to call him the BFB, the big fat bursar, right? Oh and he, and somebody ordered pizzas in his name. And I seriously, like, I mean, if you're running a pizza business, you get a phone call from, from a school. From a child. From a school in the middle of the day going, send 20 pizzas when you go here, when fuck. Yeah. Or you'd at least they were ring like, the school back. They, they gave his name mm. and they brought them. I mean, Stupid they brought them. Bastards. And it was like, the guy, I, I swear this happened. They came in and we we knew there was something wrong, but they they really thought that it was me or guys that were in the band I was playing with. Mm. I had nothing to do with it. Like I I had nothing to do with it. So unfair. And and um, the guy from the pizza company, because the school wouldn't pay him, because it was like a couple yeah. hundred pound, they wouldn't pay him. And I remember like he was literally like he was literally standing crying. The guy from the pizza company going, "I'm gonna lose my job." Aww. And like <laughs> we're like. You're just sort of standing there going, why is this happening in front of all of us? Like, why is this <laughs> not happening in a closed room somewhere? Like, There's a grown man yeah. crying on Domino, his motorbike. He's fucking literally just sitting there going, I'm going to lose my fucking he's job. He's going to feel the wrath of McGrath oh, anytime man, soon. Fucking brutal. But you know my geography teacher fucking hated me as well because, yeah. well, my history teacher, I remember telling my daddy during um, a parent-teacher meeting that he was afraid of me. 
because his, I who did you? my history teacher was said he was it was this, this big tall man. It goes um, it goes she's quite intimidating, you know, because she um asks quite asks a lot of questions. She actually questions factual history. Like I'd be like, mm, how long now? But in geography, the funniest thing happened. Me and my and my teacher hated me ever since. Me and my best friend were sitting, and there was there was three of us that were best friends, but our tables held two. So the other girl always had to sit with somebody else. Yeah. Because she was like best friends with us, but we were more best friends with each other. Do you know what I mean? As not shy. Groups within groups. Groups yeah. within groups. But she was also, she'd go off sometimes. So she'd be fine. She was this other table. She'd go off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she had another friend, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Marble. When she had her lunch in the bathroom, I'm sure it was with someone else. <laughs> and, uh, me and me and my best friend, Marley Way, she's still my best friend now, we're sitting eating polo mints. She used to bring polo mints on to school every day because she smoked as a teenager, right? Yeah, and she used to, she, we were sitting eating polo mints and our other friend was all like, pass us over a polo mints, you know, like, pass over. And then Marley Way goes, watch this, and farted on the polo mints. <laughs> <laughs> and then I passed the polo mint over there and she started eating it. And we just watched her eat it, pissing ourselves oh laughing. And we were all like, is that nice? And she was all like, hmm. Like she was like, why are you so intrigued mm, about the taste of this polo breath, mint? Yeah. And we were doing then we'd be all, Fuck is your sake. polo nice? And she'd be like, yeah, it's fine. Like, why do you keep asking? But because we could not stop laughing, our teacher like went through us and was like, why do you keep laughing? And we were like, but we're laughing with such minty breath. <laughs> <laughs> and that poor girl, I don't think she knows to this day that we farted on that she polo mint. She fucking knows now. Yeah. Her breath was reeking the rest of the day and she was like, I can't understand what I have for my lunch. <sighs> But kids can be so cruel. Definitely. Like, so cruel. Like, I think I talked about it on Shane's podcast, or maybe it was yours, was it? Where, but there was a wee boy in my primary school, and I didn't know if he was a boy or a girl. I kept asking him every day, are you a boy or are you a girl? And now I'm like, oh, I've man. probably, he's probably sat on somebody else's podcast going, see when I was in P3. Yeah, yeah, that's mental. <laughs> this fucking girl kept asking me what I was. Fuck. Like, I mean, school is, it's a fucking minefield. Like, especially, like, I... Primary schools were for shit like that, but yeah. secondary schools were for people farting on your polos. Like yeah. People like it's more. It's more if someone's gonna fuck with you in secondary school, it's usually more calculated. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, fuck me. But like, 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 there's some really devious about phoning in them pizzas. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's you're being a full comp. Like, I rang a number one time. We used to go swimming on a Friday after school. Yeah. Right. Just out in the puddles, and. No, in an actual swimming pool. Sorry, Kieran. Um, in an actual swimming pool on a Friday, right? It was right? too quick. And it was like 20p a ticket. And we used to go with a teacher who was just called Sir. And like, we'd, I, we'd nobody called him by anything else. She was just called Mr. Mr. Drifter, who uh, used to take all the kids to swim. Yeah. <laughs> Some um, didn't work in the school. Yeah. He just used to turn up with these like, it's like wheeling tickets on a Friday. <laughs> for the swimming pool. And we used to go swimming on a Friday. But we used to always go down to the payphone and make prank phone calls after it. And I typed in a number that was written on this sticker beside it. And it said, mm. like, helpline. And I rang this number. And I was like, like fucking pretend to be Kevin McAllister or something. Do you know, like, in New York, where he's yeah. all like, can I have the room with yeah, the yeah. little bar? And I was just, like, talking shite. Hung up. And then school on the Monday, I got full stood out again. Oh, fuck. Because I had rang. What was the word you just said there? Stood out. Oh, sorry. Full. full, full stu- I got full stood out again. I, the wor- I heard you saying, I got full stood out. And I'm going... Uh, What's false? That no, sounds mental. It's another day, I think. I got stood out <coughs> because I had rang an LGBTQ hotline to like helpline for like people who like needed help coming out. For, for, for we kids who are keep for getting we... pestered about whether they're men or women. Like yeah, <laughs> yes. They stuck the number there just for that wee yeah. lad slash wee girl in my class. And I rang, and they and I got stood out in school because they were like, "That's a very impo- you were clogging up the lines." Oh my! And people God. could have been trying to Fuck ring that, up. needing much needed help, and there's you clogging it up, trying to be Kevin McAllister. <laughs> and I got in full baller for it. This, this happened with my class. Anyone that was in my class, by the way, eight S for life. I well, you surely became nine S, ten S, eleven S, eight to twelve S for life, right? <laughs> um, and then we all got split up in I uh, six year anyway. Anyone who's in this class will know that this is a real story. So in third year maths, we our, our teacher was off and we had a sub teacher. And it was one of those weeks where everyone had been making cheesecakes mm. in HE, which is right next door to maths, like two, two rooms down. So people had gone with maths last. This is fucking... 
gold. I'm giving you gold, right? <laughs> We're two we're two rooms away from HE. It's the last class when people arrived. The people who had made cheesecake that day asked, "Can we nip down to maths, grab our cheesecakes, so we don't miss the bus?" Yes, of Teacher course. Teacher went, no problem. Do you mean in maths? Can we nip down to HE? Yeah. Sorry, it's yes. literally two rooms. Yeah. Right. So they go two rooms down. Who do you find riding? In fact, do you know what? It's one room down because if memory serves, we were not in our normal maths room. This is correct. We should have been in Miss Clark's room. We were in Dr. Smart's room. Great name for a maths teacher. Right? Dr. Anyway. Smart? Yeah. I've so got we, a better. I'll tell we, you were, a we, were in her, we were in her room for this. <clears throat> um, And the sub teacher, there, there was a bit of chaos. Somebody fucked a, a metal pencil case out one of the windows. And we're, we're on the middle floor of the school. Like, goes out into the car park. You just hear clatter fuck. A car alarm goes off. Teacher realizes something's happened. She freaks out. I'm away to get your your form teacher and head of year. She's a sub teacher, doesn't know where she's going in the fucking school. She's away forever, by the way, right? Remember her name as well, Miss Rice, she's a big tall one, right? And um uh she buggered off and somebody says to someone in the class, here gives a bit of your cheesecake. Fuck off. Next thing, bit of cheesecake gets lifted and fucked. And then a bit of somebody else's cheesecake gets lifted okay. and fucked. And it turned into a full scale Cheesecake massacre. Fuck fest in there, right? Just cheesecake. And then it's and then it stops being cheesecake. It's just like So it was your school like, that was the great cheesecake massacre of Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I mean this room, mate, the curtains at the back of this room, fucked. Fell right? Off, yeah. Like fucked, right? And some people like a few specific people, like the wee girl who wouldn't share hers, the wee lad that wanted some of that. I'm talking about cheesecake. Like, it, like <laughs> the, two, the two of them were covered. Other people got bits and bobs. Somehow, the big man, biggest target in the room, scot free. Nobody wants to. Th- they know I just fucking catch it, you know. <laughs> right? No, I didn't get. I didn't get hit with anything. But like, I remember, uh, like different people, like fucking taking their blazers off, stuffing them in their bags because they know. If they're going to walk out of school like that, somebody's going to be standing there and go, what the fuck, What right? happened to you, yeah? Chaos, chaos, chaos. Room's fucked. Bell rings. End of the day. Teacher isn't back. Bye. Right? We leave. This is on, I'm going to say, this happened on like a Thursday, but we were off on the Friday and the Monday. We've been holiday. And or, you know, it happened on a Wednesday. We were off Thursday, yeah. Friday. Basically, there's a wee fucking, Gap. there's a wee long weekend. So, I mean, you forget about it, don't you? You go home, you fucking forget about the cheesecake fight, like. <laughs> you go home. Because you have a, you have a fucking... You I didn't a, get hit with any of it. You have a Victoria sponge cake fight and you get I'm, home. So. I, I know, I'm throwing this out as well. I didn't throw anything. Yeah. Goo Still to boy. this day. Good wee boy, right? I'm not being put out for this. I am... Um, so, I get home. We come into school the next, the, like, the next week. No one's even talking about it. We're all just fucking chilling out, having a laugh. It's assembly. We go to assembly. All the other classes get told they can go on. I'm Not like, 8S. I'm sitting there going, this is 10S, mate. I'm sitting there going. You should know better by 10S. Know, I'm going, what's happening here? I don't even. Why is it, like, why is this happening? What and have as, we won? And, and as we're waiting on. Yeah, what yeah. have we won? Like, as, as we're waiting, you see like the vice principal, the head of the junior school coming in and we're going, we've won something. Right? Yeah, no, but like yeah. we're going. And then somebody goes, oh, the cheesecake. And I'm like, I'm literally like. It starts to ripple through the crowd. I'm literally like, ah, bollocks. And I was like standing maybe like third or fourth from the front. And I'm like, oh, this is a fucking nightmare, right? And mate, they reamed us. And, and the maths teacher whose room it was, Dr. Smart was there, reamed us so good, mate. Like hate, and, and they just fully fucking hated us, mm. right? And we just got shit on. But then whenever it came to sixth year, you had to write, they gave us all was it a foot or a hand? Like a paper version, not like a fucking real thing. Yeah. Um, there's a human foot. Well done. And uh, <laughs> I, I think it was. I think it was. It might have been, It was a hand, maybe. No, it was a foot. It was a foot. For your footprints that you've left, your memories. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Only leave only footprints, take only memories, right? And I um, you either write out like your favorite memories of school, and I wrote the cheesecake, the cheesecake incident part? on mine, and somebody else in my year, a wee secretary like yourself. Redacted it. My my foot got redacted on the display of feet. I went over to show our ones and went, here, here's mine. I wrote about the cheesecake. <gasps> redacted. I won't name that bitch. I'm not over that either. And then I remember. Where did it go? 
you just fucking went through it with a black marker. We don't want any stories like that. I'm like, you're the same age as me, you ball bag. Anyway, anyway. What's do you know what was person? great? Do you know what was great? See our priest, say the our Lever's Mass, he mentioned it. That it was funny? He, he mentioned it. He went, I have some particular memories because mm. he taught us the whole way through from second year to fifth year. Yeah. And he goes, I have a lot of memories of this group, especially this this class. And said, you know, we had our ups and downs because there was two incidents. There was there was this cheesecake incident mm. and there was an egging incident where people in our class got egged by people yeah. that were older than us. You do know that priest has a massive cheesecake fetish and that's, he was, he was <laughs> I won't there. hear a bad word against this guy. Spearing has guy. dirty balls uh, no, all over that no, cheesecake. False. That's the only reason why he loves it. I, I won't hear it. I, I love this guy. Anyway, I, know what I doc, don't love him. I like him. Is your said about Dr. Smorts or Smarts? Smart. Dr. Smart. Smart. Like yeah. Smart. Yeah, like like going like, hi, I'm Doctor Intelligence. Yeah, well, I the science guy. I know of a doctor who does work on dicks. I think is it is a urology what I want to be talking about. Yeah, pay, a page doctor. A page doctor, but he 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 deals with like your dick area. His name is Doctor Dicky. That's amazing. D I C H Y, and his first name shit you not on my ma's life because she's been to him. Don't know why he doesn't have a dick, but she's been to him. Willie, his name's William. Willie Dickey. His name's Dr. Willie Dickey. And that man has seen more dicks than you, right? That's unbelievable. I, I mean, he's bound to. With he's a middle like Easter somewhere. You oh, could look him up. Dr. Willie Dickey. Yeah. and I'd, I, be, I'd be like being called like Dr. Bummy Gooch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like, that's unbelievable. There's a word, and I remember Susie Denson on Countdown one time, there's a word for people whose names reflect their jobs. Yes, I don't know that word. What do you call that them? That sounds like a word that? you should know. Uh, Dickens used to do that with characters or their, their name reflects their character. Yes. You know, like grand, I'm gonna, grand bastard. Yeah, like know? I'm going to say like Mr. Buzz and he's a beekeeper. Do you know something like that? Yeah. Or Mr. Buzz yeah, and he's yeah. a drug dealer. <laughs> Maybe Unbelievable. that. Unbelievable, yeah. Um, I need to ask you, you remember when? Right, so, so how does this work? Do I so just, just tell you, you tell me, remember when, and then a story of something that happened in pop culture history that's had some sort of impact on you? Fuck. Well, I thought about this because there's a couple of different things, so I'm just going to throw out 1999. Love it. A good time. Yeah. A good time. This is when I was making phone calls in the bathroom for Absolutely. other 10-year-olds. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers dropped Californication. Right. Man United won the treble. Mm-hmm. Also Rugby means. won the European thing. It's just a good time. What's the European thing? The European rugby. What did you do for the thing? millennium? So 1999, did you have a, did you go to a millennium party? I actually remember what I did do. I, I <laughs> me and a wee lad across the street. So there was a, there was a party at his house mm -hmm. that was for all the adults. Like, you know, and there was a lot of people at his aunties and uncles. My man, uh, all, all our ones were at it. Um, my ma doesn't really drink. But she got fucking wasted at this party. Mm -hmm. Try to get my dad to get her a taxi home. I do mean you can see the front door. Like I'm gonna say across the street. It's like door, street, yeah, door. Yeah. Right? Try to get a taxi home. That's how Stephen goes. So <laughs> how are we getting home from here, Jim? <laughs> I'm fucking leathered. Anyway, so she loves it. Um but me and this wee lad, there was a there was a couple there had like quite a young child, like a toddler, three or four. And um we, me and my mate, we had like, I remember like I was what, like 11, near, or no, I was 12. I was 12. No, my maths. Fuck. Hi. The millennium. I'm like 13. Hi. He was 14. He had swiped like a, um, like we'd swiped like a couple of beers at his party and it was very like, but I mean like one each and we're like. Yeah. Under Christ. the kitchen table. And you would just slam it. Well, oh no, you get steaming. You're right? <clears throat> So. We're like in the middle of that shit when one of my brothers comes in and goes here, they're gonna go home. But if you just go and babysit, we'll get you'll get a bit of money, and they can stay at the party for an hour or two longer. Yet they left us forever. Like we were sitting there like three. With their toddler. The toddler was sleeping all oh, week. Like we sleeping. didn't have to do anything. I was wild. And, 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 and it was like if she wakes up, if she wants us, just come get us. Yeah. And we're literally like at a house. Yeah. Again, spitting distance, right? There's people would not do that now. No, no, and I but I just remember me and me and as as kid D like the two of us just sitting there like we had our one beer you know and you're like there until like three in the morning like yeah uh this is so melting so I was high wrong in the fucking Doctor Buzz I remember the um <laughs> I remember the 
the Millennium Bug being a crock of shit. Yeah, do you remember that? Everyone was like, oh, our fucking computers are going to die. Everything, but everything's going to die, your TV, and you the, don't have to get a new TV. For the Millennium, we, my granddad had a Millennium party at his house, and he had like a big house, and like all the family were there, despite the fact that nobody really gets along. It's so like everybody was there. In a karaoke machine in one room, but that was his way of going, all the kids fuck off yeah, yeah. <laughs> into that room. And I remember it was my mad too, had, like, was drinking that night and she like didn't go to bed, I think. And then we all woke up really early in the morning. She was still like sat up, like having a great time with Mandy. And like the both of them like, Ooh, thinking they were teenagers again. And she w- kept trying to get my dad, who doesn't drive, to drive us to the beach. At like six in the morning. Your dad time. doesn't drive? He doesn't drive, no. Right. He just hasn't driven in years. And he was just like, I, but he had to drive us home that day because my mom was still bollocksed. He was like, I'll drive. He drove us home. So me and our daughter in the back. Do you remember, remember things like heightened when you were a child? Yeah. And we were in the back seat going, I think we might die. Because <laughs> he doesn't drive and she keeps going to the beach. Let's go to the beach. And the front seat blocked going, woo, waving everybody. And we were all, do you mean like, see your man dad drunk or see your, a parent drunk and you're like, I think she might be an alcoholic now. Yeah, yeah. I need therapy. Ma, Ma Borla doesn't really drink, but I've seen her, I've seen her plaster a few times. Like literally like three or four times in my whole life. Yeah. And there's usually an occasion on. Yeah. But just once it was the FA Cup and she had no business being drunk. But um, <laughs> it's a great story. She was, she, my, this was at a time when my sister was working in macro and was drinking wine what out a of a fucking place. She was to drinking work. wine out of a Love box. It. Now, this is in 96. It was the year that Cantona, you don't care, Cantona scored against Liverpool the last minute, right? Hold on. Did you even sing uh, Cantona plays like a woman in a wear to breath? No, I definitely would have sung the first half of that, though. But you just I wouldn't like, disrespect the king. But you know that song? I didn't know there was a bra bit. No. Ooh, ah, Cantona plays like a woman and he wears a bra. And then there was a ooh, ah, up your ma. Is that ooh, ah, up your ma? I, I remember that. <laughs> Think of it just um, that. Uh, we, so we're, we're watching that FA Cup. And Ma Bartlett is, uh, she's, Aureline's been buying Rougemont Castle wine, wine in a box. Mm. Um, and Ma Bartlett's just been going, just fill us in our wee glass that there, son. Leathered, Right. Event, like every drink she's going I don't really drink but I'll have a wee one yeah, of them and it was just, do you know what it was she Nine was drinking out of a wee small glass Yeah. so she's probably not even really aware of what she's having Yeah. so she ends up getting quite steamy and then um, everybody came in looking their dinner out of work like out of their part time salary jobs and yeah. they're like cheers mum but anyway um, it's day time she's day drinking Oh, 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 I. This was a like FA Cup used to be on Saturday, three o'clock. She's day drinking. Yeah, so by five, she's leathered, and then people start arriving home like six, half six, being like, all right. Demanding um, the bed. She's just lying there on the sofa. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, 99 yeah. is a good year. Like, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, California Cation. Yes. Big deal for you? No, or? not necessarily, because 1999, I was 10, and you were 13. Are yeah. you 86? Yep. So you're a teenager at this point. Mm. I'm still singing Spice Girls. Right, okay. Out the back with well, karaoke, making people pay in. I was, I was, um... I, I fully used to go out my back and I would do all five Spice Girls and I would, whenever whenever it became the next one, I would like turn the, You would spin and then become... And then become the next Spice yeah. Girl and I would do a full that's show. A good, that's a good technique. Charge them 5p and they all got a glass of loot. People, there was a wee lad down my street, and he 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 would have been a kid whenever like my nephew was a kid, so um, like maybe what what is that like twelve thirteen years younger than me? Mm-hmm. But he used to charge in. He used to put on productions, and as uh, I, I I love the love it. He used to make posters for it. And all. He used to do productions down here. I went and seen one. It was a show. Look, like. it was it a one man show. It was, yeah, it was he's doing him. all the parts. He's doing all the bits. So- and he, and he, he he would sing. He would do jokes, mate. This kid was a fucking Fuck entrepreneur. Me, like, no, I was fucking brilliant. I would dress as Baby Spice, though, because I was like, I'm going to commit to one costume way. So yeah. I would wear the bubble trainers, the pink zip up dress that wasn't an Adidas dress like she had. It was more like a fruit of the limb jumper. Yeah, like, yeah. Where I cut the arms out, and I was like, I'm in, I've got the, the Baby Spice dress. And then I would put on my wee karaoke and then turn and do each of their bits. And then people, I would have an audience of four or five sometimes. It, it would, the word spread around the square yeah, yeah. and I let them and I actually wouldn't even let them in through the gate they would climb up and sit on my wall oh that's good so it's sort of like uh, yeah it's like they're shitting up in the yeah. what do you call them the heavens They're they'd be up there yeah. I'd be down here but I think it's because my, my mom was like Tears I'm sitting. locking the gate stop bringing people in and I was like bitches yeah. sit up on the wall <laughs> 5p give them a wee glass of dilute to quench your thirst and I'd do my concert I think um, I I yeah I, I was 
I was just getting into I was getting into music. I was getting into like maybe thinking about learning a guitar at this point, like mm-hmm. late late ninety nine. I think I started in two thousand. So I was getting into that idea. Mm. And uh that album. So that you'd I, have been into that. I yeah. would I like that album literally I'm not gonna would I say it changed yeah, it it sort of changed my life. It changed my attitude to music, which then To changed, turn it off. <laughs> which then like don't slap her with that album. No, that and, is fucking uh, great. That and, is. Um, well, I don't know the album, but the song. The album's all oh, made. The album. See, I never lived in albums. Unless they were. <clears throat> actually, that's such a fucking lie. Because do you remember Britannica? The the encyclopedia thing? No, that's the encyclopedia. Yeah. <laughs> this was like a... It was like a thing you could subscribe to, right? And right. you paid monthly. And you got oh, to you order got albums. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> I remember seeing it in the back of like a catalogue yeah. or the back of a magazine and it was like, enjoy this sell it to you like in the big writing and you're like, I was like maybe nine or ten yeah. and the big writing's like 50p an album and you're like, holy shit, that's class. And you're like, it's only 50p an album so you sign up <coughs> and then actually the small print says after the first three months it's 34 99 yeah, a month yeah. and you have to sign up for like 12 months. Yeah. So I convinced my man that it was only 50p an album. It was only going to cost 50p a month. So they had to sign up to it. And I was subscribed after a year. They were paying 35 99 for me to get albums that I didn't even want. I had two Aquas. I had two of the same Aqua album because I ran out of people to buy. That was a big, that was a big album though. It was a... Uh, but the, uh, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones? Everyone always Stop talks it. about Bob Regard, but Dr. Jones and... If only I could turn, turn back time. time. Also, sure. Dr. Jones is like a guy whose name suggests what he's doing because he was like an Indiana Jones guy. I think that's what they're going for with that whole... I know. Have we just... Have you? Just, is, is this a revelation like years later? But he... They're definitely doing Indiana Jones. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? Barbie, that's a good name for her because she's sort of like the doll, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just said. So the song is about Indiana Jones. Wake up now, yeah. <laughs> is it? It's a way Indiana Jones because they were shit. But also, it. do you know how it gets brave when people pitch shit into songs like this? I B I U. Yeah, I B I U. Yeah, very brave. Do you know what I mean? You're you're out on a limb there. Yeah, and like and and like it works. Yeah. When it's like it's not a word, it's not even a sound that people are familiar with. Like a la la la. I B I U. Like U E U A A, Tang Tang, Wild Wild Bang Bang. The cartoons. Which doctor? Remember Like that's fucking, that's a fucking crack. Do you remember when pop music just had shit like that? Like you'd have rock. Like if you were watching like a pop music show, it would be there'd be rock on it. Mm-hmm. Like it, it could be, it could literally be Limp Bizkit be and then the cartoons. Yeah. It was eclectic. Yeah. And you'd watch them and you'd enjoy both equally. And yes. then Scooter would come on. Scooter. Like you'd have a full mix. My ma has never sang a song with their correct lyrics in her life. I love that. Ever. Though. Even, even just as simple as, do you know Britney Spears when she goes, oh baby, baby. How, my ma can't get that. It's two words. One isn't even really Same a word. word. Just oh, yeah. right. She goes, all right, all right. And you're all, but. It's one word. How do you not? And I keep telling her, it's baby, baby. Ah, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Fucking. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah. yeah sure. I just think, I think, Californication, genuinely, the the version of that that I had came from that kid who was selling CDs. Oh, genuinely, really? Genuinely. And uh, he, um, he got me that album pretty early. And then... Um, uh, and printed the list of the songs. Uh, printed them. Printed that, and uh, I am um, that album. Do you know what I used to do? I was mate. I was such a wee, such a wee nerd. I used to uh, put that on my PlayStation, mm-hmm. and there was like graphics when you put music on, and there was one was like it was like a black screen, and there was just a wee red line when there was silence, and then when the music started, it would like do yeah. all mad yeah, wee yeah, jumpy yeah. things. I just used to sit and watch that. See, Parallel Universe. It used to send that shit mental, and I used to sit and watch that. In the dark at night time. Like digital. Just like a wee, it was a wee red line. It used to like go like come out at you know, and I just used to be like I love this, <laughs> and then I learned like within within about a year of that album coming out, I had started the guitar and I learned maybe like what like ten or twelve of those songs like mm. early in my in my guitar That's, learning. I was a teenager too. Mm? As a teenager. Yeah. So like I just like I loved playing that shit, and then like yeah, it sort of changed my like. I can I can learn these, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna be in a band, and then that was a big part of my life for a long yeah. time. Like, and then like I still, like I I still use some of that shit now, like in comedy. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like um, 
So did you, did you wake up on like the first of January two thousand and be like, check the computer? Uh, I remember the when it, when, it, when, check, it, but... when it turned uh, when it turned midnight and nobody's TV broke at yeah, this party. Everyone standing like this after people the countdown. Thought the, people thought the TV was gonna break. People and then, were so thick um, before the internet. I remember at that party they switched the TV off and switched it back on and it worked and nobody. Everyone was like, I was a little bollocks. Except that baby that you were babysitting had disappeared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, into the TV. Yeah. Um, the Millennium Bug was definitely a load of balls. Yeah. And then I think not that long after that, another wee album. It was probably a year, like halfway through 99 through to halfway through 2000. A lot of, a lot of cool music. Like another wee album dropped. What? Craig David's Born to Do It, man. Stop it. Unbelievable. Stop it. What an album. That man hasn't aged a day. No, he loves it. Hey, do you ever do you ever see as well like say someone like Shane Ward who was on the X Factor or one of those shows and then they have a big hit like a, obviously they're gonna do well for the Christmas number one and then you don't see them again for like years and you're all all their away having a shite time and then you sort of do a bit of digging and you find out they're huge in Asia yeah 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 and you're Craig, like they Craig, fucking Craig love David. earning a fortune Craig David is is sort of doing quite he does well at like a booth for just mad skills I mean. That's the sort of career you'd love to have where you can like have like a big hit or a big thing and then you can sort of just fuck off and earn a nice tidy living out of doing what you love doing mm. but nobody really knows where Joe's you are. Mad, though, he, um, I watched a podcast with him not that long ago and um, he was on it. I don't mean I was sitting watching a podcast with him but like, yeah. like <laughs> um, he was saying that like in the space of about four months, mm. three or four months, he went from literally doing like, you know, I'm jumping on here and doing 15 minutes while the other DJ's taking a break and he would DJ and sing over it. Yeah. He went from that to doing like Wembley in like a few months where it was like, because he blew up so quickly where it was literally like, yeah, he like the, the Artful Dodger song came out, then uh, Phil Me In, Seven Days, hit and then his album. Hit. And then it was just like, you're doing like dates in Wembley now on, a, on an arena tour. That I saw didn't him on happen that, on then. That but it happens now for like people who go on like Love Island and all the people yeah, who get yeah. and they just get like, instant fame. Like they go in as like just regular photoshopped looking people. Yeah. And then they come out and they've got like three million followers and yeah. they're earning an absolute Halogen teeth. Yeah, yeah. And they're earning an absolute fucking fortune. So that does happen now, but that's not good for people. No, no, it probably fucks you like. Like people would say if I do interviews, people go to me some you, oh here, I mean I would yeah. I would <laughs> yeah, somebody goes to me here, do you want to play Wembley next week? Are you ready? Yeah. I'll be ready. Yeah. I've I'm, laid on... I'll, I'll wash this and I'll be there. That tracks it? This exact tracks it. It's cosy. I was going to say, do you look cosy today? It's, it, do you know what? See this hoodie? One of the best things I've ever bought in my life. Uh, why? It's Just because so it's so cosy. And I always thought I would, I always thought I would feel rare in it, but mm. I actually love it. No, you, you look slick. <laughs> it's the sort of tracks it. It's the sort of tracks it that um, you could wear to a funeral. I think it is. Yeah, I like it's it it's smart. Yeah, s- casual. I feel like the only, I think the only place it wouldn't let me in, there'll be like some really swanky restaurant or something everywhere else. Here, is like, do you even want to go on? Fuck you. Don't want to. Anymore. I don't want to go on. Do you know why? Mate. You leave starving. You ever go to a posh restaurant? Leave starving. Yeah. Do you know what I hate when when, when 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 I when I go to a posh restaurant, I'll try something that I don't, I would never have. Yeah. I always feel like I'll oh. I'll try a wee bit of that weird lamb. No. It's always bollocks. That is not about me. I think people who, who do, you know, do you know if you go to like ring a takeaway and you go, I'll have a look at the menu. You're a fucking psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Just Do yeah. you not know what you order? Get the same shit all I order the, the same thing every time and every couple of years I'll change it because I've had a bite of someone else's. I'm not going to waste my Chinese by deciding that then and all yeah. of a sudden I'm like fucking Peking. Come yeah, on now. I know, I, I hate that. Do you know what I... Well, really, when it when it really distresses me is when you're in a queue somewhere and someone starts fucking about like a I, hmm. subway. Some say say if I don't go to subway anymore, but say if you don't know what you're getting in subway or how subway works. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. Watch. Stand at the side and watch. Get the gist and then yeah. jump into the queue. It's a spectating Isn't sport it? to begin surely, with. Surely, I think if you don't know, you can watch the person in front of you and go, oh. You select a, a bread, bread, then you say, I want this, Salad, and whether meat. you want cheese or not, you know? I but Humans, <clears throat> like... It's, do you know if, like, you, I hate getting together for, like, a family gathering, there's, like, 15, 20 people, and ordering food, like, ah, 
and you're like, you're fuck off because people I have food anxiety when it's on its way, being worried that somebody else is going to lift my people portion always, of people, whatever. People see when people. Oh, go, we'll all throw it out the table and take it. Sure? Will we fuck? Oh, I hate that. I, hate I ordered that. this. I ordered the honey chili. Because, Why are you? Yeah. I don't want your fucking coming, noodles. Coming slightly full circle. My gammon and pineapple crisps. See when I see when I say I'm going to the shop or something, I'm like, I'm going. To, do you want anything? I will literally buy whatever you want for free. But see if you say you don't want something, and then I come back with my wee bag of crisps, mm. and you go, give me one. Fuck you. Do you know? I I'd literally rather buy you a full bag of them, take one of them, and throw it out. Yeah. Because I paid for this bag. Yeah. The whole bag. For me. For this guy. Yeah. I used to watch Sean share his food with his kids in McDonald's and this ki- his kids would have their own meals and then he'd be like, they'd be like, Daddy, can I have a wee bite of that? And I'd be like, I'd be fuming for him. Yeah, yeah. And as a dad, he'd be all, yeah, of course you have a wee bite. And I'd be sitting there going, but your burger's plain and his burger's plain. You have got the same fucking food. Why does he need a bite of yours, yeah, the wee four-year-old yeah. dick? That is a wee and bit I'm bit. like, why are you? Be-? And he's like, oh, it's my child. Just give him a wee bite of my burger. And I says, no, you're teaching him to be one a greedy bastard, and two you to have absolutely no care in the world for your feelings. So you're gonna have a bite less, so he can have a bite more when yeah, he already yeah. has a meal. Fuming. Yeah, I would. No, yeah, I would give Winter the skids from my knickers, <laughs> <laughs> and I understand why. I'm like, well, just it'll keep her shut up for two seconds. Uh, um, but before we finish if anything you want to plug to the millions of people oh, that are going to be uh, yeah Ulster Hall Ulster Hall 26th of, 26th of November 15th of October come to both it's weird that you've been saying the November one first I know uh, I fucked that 15th of October <laughs> 26th of November also Patreon no blasters absolutely Love it. thank Thanks you very for much me. for coming on Kim. good times do oh. oh I fucked that alright <laughs> Prefer that to that. We'll do both. Do you know what I hate? I kind of I, I hate when you when someone goes for a high five and you go to high five them and they do this. Who would I'm do like, that besides I'm a like, sex pest? I'm like, don't don't fucking. I we're not saying Fun prayers. Moment. Fuck off. Hate that. Disgusting. You would get it at gigs. Sometimes people go for a high five. They make a mistake and go and cheers. Go out the back here. And then they grab it and I'm like, use your fucking creeps. Go out the back. That's the end of that. Bye. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs>